Welcome back, back to Innis 2HD. I am here in an awesome map of greyness with Flatterectomy, the creator of NS2 Caged. Flatterectomy, how are you doing? I am doing quite well, thank you. How are awesome. you? Awesome. Now, a fantastic community member, Burdock, has set us up for another mod spot. This time, Burdock has delivered us Flatterectomy, the creator of this awesome map, to talk about this awesome map and himself. And uh, we're going to play it. And most importantly, Flatterectomy, what is going on with this Onos? Um, well, you know, every map needs some gorgeous and unique detail, and, and I thought an Onos would be perfect for that. He's got a bad habit, though. He, uh, he smokes. Yeah, that is fantastic, yeah. and Neo Rush is being an absolute troll in the chat right now. Um, <laughs> I know. No, that is a very cool armor. little touch. I love that Onos with his cigar. It's just so good. So I think we're going to go ahead and play, and um, flatterate me. So this map, uh, I guess we'll talk more once we're inside. So, hey guys, let's go random and um, get a game going now. So we've got an awesome bunch of people in here that have volunteered to show off Flatterectomy's map. And I, I noticed that Marine Start is textured Flatterectomy. How much of the map is textured at the moment? Uh, well, only Marine Start is actually textured, um, and that's someone else. but that, those textures are uh, all gonna go. That, that whole room will be redesigned, so for all intents and purposes, the whole map is untextured. I didn't get one guy. Oh, Sweet, okay. And that's important, isn't it? Because as you develop a map, and uh, unfortunately I'm going to have to mute my team just to make sure I keep getting you through nice and loud. Yeah, I'm Sorry, doing guys. that too. I'm going to be the most hopeless team Moral. player, but I'm going to be able to hear flatter it. So, um, yeah, that's important, isn't it? Because if you make a change when the map's all been done up, things get really difficult, don't they? Exactly. If, uh, if I have to, if I make a, a room look all pretty, put in props and, and entities everywhere, and then suddenly uh, I have to move the whole room around and change an entrance or something, then that's just going to cause me a lot more work than necessary. So I decided, like, make it grey and make people wonder what the hell's going on, why aren't there walls, and or why are there walls, but why are they grey? <laughs> and just just figure out where the layout issues are, and and then do the the work, making it pretty uh, at the end. Yeah, absolutely. Get the layout right first, function before form, and then put in some fantastic form. Now, flatterate to me. I am um, getting. I mean, I'm getting some serious nostalgia right now in this room, <laughs> even though it's grey. And I'm sure other NS fans who played NS back in the day or still do will be getting massive. Um, Massive nostalgia here in Central Processing. Ah, yes. This was an NS1 map, wasn't it? Yes, this was an NS1 map. Um, I'm not entirely certain how popular it was, but I really enjoyed it. And it was made by uh, Nelson Mana Ferryman. Unfortunately, I've not been able to get in contact with him. I, I emailed uh, Charlie about it, and he only had a really old uh, email address that I also found. And as soon as I mailed it, I got a bounce back. So, I, I, unfortunately, I wasn't able to, to run into him. So I Wherever just, uh, he is out there in the world, he's probably very proud of the fact that his map is being regenerated. I definitely hope so. And uh, how have you had to change it much for NS2 gameplay? Um, Yes, like the, the th this version we're playing right now is um, a beta version. Well, of course, the whole map is a beta version, but right now, mm. this is not the same version you will be able to play on, on the Steam uh, Workshop right now. Um, so we're playing a special version. Yes, that's why there are a couple of bugs right now uh, that, uh, that are preventing me from releasing it. I was going to release it this weekend. It hasn't happened yet because of those bugs, but I'll, uh, I'll, I'll figure those out. Um, if, if, you look at the, uh, if you look at the map, You'll notice that there's an area north of Central Processing called Breakthrough, which is a weird name because it's not really a room, but it's a temporary name for it, which actually connect, connects uh, monitoring to Central Processing, and that whole connection was never there in the original. It was just it. one long uh, corridor, so to speak, towards the generator hive. And, so and I lengthened it out a little bit. Um, well, it hasn't exactly been lengthened, but I've, in the middle, put the connection towards central processing to, to make that loop complete. Otherwise, that would just be one long corridor from Marine Start to a hive, and no junctions there at all, and, and that really doesn't really make any sense. Yeah, gotcha. And I'm getting absolutely owned by these competitive players, just putting it out there. They are schooling me completely. I see a lot of clan tags. Yeah, exactly, and I know he's not, you know, there's a difference between That's playing with pub players and playing with comp players. Usually my kill death ratio goes from roughly even to, uh, dividing by zero. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I played one gather, there were a couple of ARC members there, and it, it was painful. Now, how long has it taken you, Flutterate, to me to build the map up to its current 
uh, level. With all this fantastic layout, grey boxing, and just a couple of props. The, the, the whole process of the initial grey boxing um, took me 10 days, and that was okay. pretty fast. I, I just had Natural Selection 1 open, and I had Spark oh, Editor open, and I would just look at the map in-game, be like, ah, oh, that's about that long, that wide, you know, most yeah. most items or uh, elements of the, of, the, of the original were like 32 units wide or 16 units wide. You could sort of figure out how big everything was, and I just copied all the all the architecture and, and finished base, all the all the areas, and and I had like the complete original architecture done in about 10 days. But now it's it's now the difficult part is done. Uh, it's, it's, I, I put a complete um, occlusion geometry around the map. It runs really fast now. It has draw calls of about 200 to 400 right now. Great. And 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 that way I can actually test it properly. But but the the last I think last month or so has been pretty slow with making changes monitor. and figuring out bugs and, and stuff like that. That that really slows down the process. But the initial gray box in 10 days. And how long do you think it's going to take from this gray box stage uh, to having a map that's reasonably fully fleshed out? Uh, well, it, it will take months, um, maybe a year or so even. Uh, it depends on how much time I have, of course, and, and how much um, how many changes I have to make. If it turns yeah. out that this layout still doesn't work, then you know, I'm going to have to move areas around again. Uh, but, but once I can actually start on making things pretty, making the details, uh, or adding details to the map, um, I think I can go fairly fast, but it's, it's always hard to, hard to estimate. Yeah. Okay, well, mate, you have certainly uh, got your work cut out for you, but I am very, very proud and envious of your efforts. I think it's a fantastic thing you're doing for the community to take on that much work uh, in the interest of building the community another fantastically playable map. Who's working on this uh, map? I mean, out there, oops, I just need to <laughs> mute Ozilla as well. <laughs> but who's working on this map? Flatterectomy's working on this map. Flatterectomy, your name is interesting. <laughs> Where does the name Flatterectomy come from? It's it's nothing weird, don't worry. It's, um... Um... When I, when I was playing Counter-Strike, this is... Like, ten years ago? Well, nine, nine, eight years ago, ten years ago, I don't know. Um, I used to go by the name Father. Okay. And uh, that was just a randomly picked name, Father. You know, I thought it was funny if people would tell me, like, Father, we have incoming, or something like that. That, that would yeah. be funny. Um, then I slowly, gradually started getting better at Counter-Strike. And uh, so whenever I had a bad day where I was just underperforming, I changed my name to Flatter, which is nearly the same, so people could still recognize me, and it's Dutch for blunder. Oh, okay. That was, that was a little joke there. And, and then at some point I watched a lot of episodes of ER, and... Uh, I, I turned it, uh, you know, they had splenolectomies and, and other weird operations where they cut things out. And uh, and I thought, mm, flatter, flatterectomy? That sounds fun, that sounds unique. So I, uh, so I stuck with that, made it flatterectomy. Well, there I was thinking I was going to have to bleep you out, delete nope. the video or something, <laughs> but it's a perfectly legitimate and okay name. Yeah, pe so people go, think it's a bad name, it's really not a bad name. Really, I suppose technically it means to cut out making blunders. So, you know, that's, that's a good there thing. You go. Oh man, I just got killed in Generator, and I was I was looking at Generator thinking, I have so many memories. I, there was this, I have special memories in Generator of being a Lurk and using Umbra in NS1. I don't know why I have those memories, but that is my memory of Generator, is Umbra and Onai in Generator. And it's... Oh, we've lost the phase game! Oh dear. <laughs> I've actually been sitting you know, on the ceiling, You know, I gotta ceiling, say, uh, so, this uh, is the first time of me looking at the new sewer, and darn, it looks nuts. Like yeah, sewer, sewer is one of the areas that I uh, changed quite a bit. Well, not quite a bit. It's still in theme with the original, I think. But I had to had to change it because um, in the original there were ladders to go up, and um, you know, try to make an Ono's walk a ladder. That's not gonna work. So I had to put in some ramps and uh, and then uh, you know make it a little wider. So Onos wouldn't be caught really, you know, dead in its tracks uh, if if uh, if you're attacking the hive as marines. Oh, they've done a great I job. Realize these gray boxes actually make infested areas look so cool. <laughs> they, it's just such simple geometry for the infest. Ah, oh, found you! I've been looking for this spur. We're going for the moon oh, while the alien team's too busy absolutely annihilating us. Hey, I'm on the, the I'm on the alien area. team. You're giving me vital information here. Oh, <laughs> damn it! Can I take it down? No, I cannot. There's a skulk on me, and this skulk is gonna school me. Ah!
Damn I've, it. I've actually uh -oh. been sitting on a ceiling quietly talking to you, so I, uh, I, I, oh. I, I haven't been uh, going after you. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. Now we have no infantry, but I think I think we're being recycled. Oh. Oh, the, the enemy team just won fair and square. So there you go. That's no, the marine side. Man, what, what generator? That was no, that was sweet, and that's going to be the marine video. Now I'm going to go ahead and play on the alien side and record another one on this awesome map by Flatterec made a remake of NS Caged as Caged for Natural Selection 2. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere because NS Caged is going to be coming right up with more NS Caged action.